Bonjour, Guten Tag, Yasu, or hello. This edition we're transmitting direct from the Eurozone, where the stage is set for civil unrest as member states compete in the Eurodivision contest. On one side we have the Troika, united together to bail out the banks and balance their side of the ledger, deploying a plethora of new austerity measures that have brought poverty and misery to many EU areas. While on the left, we have the general populace, which has responded to austerity with a chorus of protests. To learn more, we get the latest from the Eurodivision contest, commencing with... Greece in the streets with belief and a Molotov cocktail We'll defeat these elite policies, the police will not fail But the Euro will, unless Berlin approves another bailout By the way, the bill for your war crimes needs to be paid now We stand with Greece, ya basta! Podemos, we can! Be free from this EU disaster! Children are famished, people are homeless, we have to protest Elites call it cows, we call this democratic progress! A Austerity here has been just as merciless Job losses, crop busts, cuts to public services Water double tax, leaking mass amounts While the rich slip their riches in Swiss bank accounts Hey Malakas, you owe Greece money too! In fact, all of the EU must pay a fee whenever they use the words Europe and democracy or we're gonna sue! It's all Greek copyright and the bill is overdue! So we've heard the passionate verbal displays of some of the victims which austerity has encircled. Now to learn what the judges make of that, we turn to the first arbiter, Chancellor of Germany, Angela Merkel. That was just terrible. A drab batch of glandular gurgles. You lack talent, vitality, originality, purpose. Angela Merkel, angel of death, Bismarck in this bitch. Queen of the Eurozone, holding all the bargaining chips. What is this shit? Especially you Greeks. Ask Geigen, you want another bailout? First you need to tighten your belts, sell your islands, privatize the Acropolis, and for fix sake, pay your taxes. I've had enough of this And Spain That was lame You make me smirk Podemos We can Yeah you can Get back to work And Ireland Thanks for trying To display your talent But the chips are down Like the potato famine Listen up Europeans The social contract is dead We said austerity was temporary But instead it's your new way of life So just get used to it now Cheer up I know how to ruin I mean run Europe Into the ground Dankeschön Frau Merkel We now join this next Judge on our panel To share standpoints with us We welcome the Marxist theorist, adroid critic, Slovene philosopher and academic, Slavoj Žižek. My god, I have to clap hands. And this revolutionary potential is sensual, erotic, like a lap dance. In a Freudian kind of way. You know Lacan? Because all it reminds me of the film Batman. That one where the hero arrives to save our rights, but he's actually a capitalist. Dressed in armor like a fascist or a feudalist. You know, the dark knight. And look how they frame the criminals as he starts to fight. As anarchists, like Joker, or as activists, like Bane and so on and so on. And so who is this Bruce Wayne? Mythologically, you know he is like a new sort of Hades. Greek god of the underworld, lord of the wealthy, and his brother Zeus kidnapped the Europa. A Cretan. Okay, okay, so the hidden message Hollywood is leaving is clear then. First, people of Europe, you are all cretins. Second, you must just trust your capitalist rulers, even if they look like mass fascists and striding tyrants, because only they can save you from the rising tide of crime and violence and spiraling cycle of anarchy. But if we look behind these stupid masks using psychoanalysis, we see the real criminals and the governments and banks, who have declared a disgusting class war on the welfare state. But the people of Europe have seen the rank scams and imposters, and are in the streets saying fuck you, bankman and robbers. Havala Zizek, for that intricate Marxist syllabus, we now cross over dialectically in search of a synthesis to the last judge, a person with influence, presently in charge of the IMF, Madame Christine Lagarde. Bonjour les esclaves, ça va? Uh, oui, très bon. I love the sex of dead slaves in this competition. Ooh la la, so much pain and mourning, it's quite eternal. But I think we need to have a little history lesson. In Europe you call it austerity, but we have another slogan. For the IMF it's known as structural adjustment programs. And we just love to impose them in poor third world homelands. Check how it goes down. We lend for nations money to assist their development, but for some pretty little conditions have to be met. Step 1. Privatization. Sell all public assets. Next. Market liberalization to attract foreign capital. Devaluing their currency and safety standards in their borders and cutting subsidies for basic needs like fuel, food and water. And once the masses stop and are down on their knees, step 3. Watch the riots break out in the streets. Sounds familiar. What? You don't like that particular game? Oh, désolé. I didn't hear you ever object to complain. When we did it to others and you had profits to me. But why subject your own citizens to these strictures and pain? Because, mon chéri, this is a pyramid scheme. It's part of the plan. At first, we let you live in the dream. But then it's your turn to get reamed. So now, s'il vous plaît, bend over, relax, and enjoy this austerity. Merci. Well, we've heard from all sides then. Oh wait, it seems the Eurodivision contest is not quite over yet. I'm told there is a late arrival. A wildcard entry? It's hard to see. It's a contestant from Lovali. Yo, I'm dropping in on this competition to say on behalf of indigenous mobs and 
citizens. Their austerity is nothing new to all the people living under centuries of European colonial systems. And we're still in it. But I'm not here to hate on your brothers and sisters. I'm here to cheer on your tough resistance. Cause mate, we can see that. You too have been colonized even more than we have. Cause at least we can recognize it. Should the people protest and elect? Yep, but don't forget, a system cannot fail those it was never meant to protect. So the solution? Forget Occupy, you've done enough of that. Decolonize Europe and do it stat. And with that message, we end our coverage of the Eurodivision contest. Thanks to all our guests and judges, we've witnessed noble acts of rhetoric and courage, bold attacks on systemic power structures. So how do we make sense of this current EU crisis? Is it just economics and budgets? Is there a class war behind it? Or has colonization, normally aimed at other nations and continents, been redeployed against Europe's own populace? Seeking answers, we've explored those very narratives, from the streets of Madrid and Frankfurt to the Kimberleys in Athens, where austerity advances and history is happening. Stay tuned for more juice when rap news is back again.